While I was scrolling through the mod browser in Tmod Loader a bit ago, I stumbled across a mod called Verve Stupid Bars, which adds a bunch of HUD bars that, if any of them empty or sometimes fill, uh, you die. 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 There's no water nearby. I'm gonna die of thirst. I have, I have one, one health. health. Fifteen bars. Oh my, oh my god. god, we did it. We beat Brain of Cthulhu. Watch the sick dodge. Okay, I didn't dodge that at all. It's dungeon in time. Wait a minute, temperature bar is not affected by health? Oh, a d Yes! <laughs> Did I accidentally throw it in the garbage? Haha, <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, I've just, I've, I've lost all focus now. Oh god, it's a turtle. Okay, so as it turns out, for a good reason why Duke Fish runs very hard. All right. Yo! Got him! <laughs> yeah. Got him! Why is it slime raining again? No, you're you're joking. R wh what? I got a jungle key? Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> I only died once today. Next time, we're gonna at the very least beat Plantera, and we might even finish the challenge. Alright, back into things here. I do not at present know if this is going to be the last video. We're, we're pretty close to the end of the game now, so I think what would be a good thing to do for Plantera would be to set up a, a little arena. So I'm thinking if I just like use bombfish around this area, that should work okay. Oh, the painter's here. Oh yeah, that's right, all of my ocean NPCs died at the <laughs> during the fish run fight last time, forgot about that. This Plantera doesn't move super, like a super ton, I don't need to have the precision of chlorophyte bullets and plantera is prone to iker meaning that using iker bullets will be really good oh my goodness Jeez, i keep having angry trappers just reaching out of the the sides of the jungle here i get spooked the first goal of the day is obviously to beat plantera because that will um open a few things i might be able to get venus magnum and then i'll get access to buying the auto hammer which will mean that i can get shroomite and then let me go ahead and put this here and this here put this here that honestly should probably work i know it's small but it is classic mode plantera so i don't really know exactly how big of an arena i'm even gonna need here but yeah the goal is basically to just kill plantera as quickly as possible so that i don't have to worry about the jungle bar do i want to just take a crack at plantera now i could do that well i don't see why not here goes nothing mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, the spiky balls. I forgot I kind of give the spiky balls, like, pretty good space to just bounce around here. Oh my god. Okay, phase two. I might actually just get killed. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Hail Mary. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I died. <laughs> I got killed afterwards. But hey, I killed- Oh wait, is that the grenade launcher? Hold on a second. I did it. <laughs> I mean, I died, but I did it. <laughs> Well, okay, that was uh, simpler than I expected it to be, honestly. <laughs> a little issue with the arena. I think it could have been a little bit bigger. I didn't really give myself enough space to move around. But hey, when I saw my health was getting low, I just sent it and it worked. Looked like I at least got the grenade launcher. I don't know if I got anything else, but the grenade launcher is not bad. I might not use it, but... Oh, I got the seedling as well. I gotta make shroomite now that I have beaten Plantera. Did set this up so I can get glowing mushrooms because I'm gonna need quite a few to make the uh, to make the shroomite for all the things that I need here. I have 640, so I can make 42. 24, 18, 12. So that means I need 54, I think. Oh yeah, and then if I also wanna make the, I was thinking the hoverboard would be good. That requires an additional 18. So for the full thing, I would need 72. Since I've been going so like gun heavy overall, I think I'm gonna go with the bullet helmet for Shroomite. I can make another 21. So 63, that is definitely enough for the full set. So let's go ahead and make that. But yeah, there's Shroomite. So that's gonna be my best armor for the rest of the challenge. <laughs> with some bosses, I can definitely make it a thing of like, oh, you know, take them out as quickly as possible so go for menacing. But when it comes to something like Moonlord, where 
I think Moonlord is going to be more of a war of attrition. I do not think that going with menacing is necessarily the right call there. Um, yeah, Moonlord has a lot of health, <laughs> as it turns out. Uh, I gotta fight some Wyverns. Should be a bit easier than the first time that I fought uh, Wyverns. I really ought to also try upgrading my accessories a little bit more, because frankly, my accessories are definitely hurting a little bit. <laughs> I've got Ranger Emblem, Shark Tooth Necklace, Frog Webbing, Spectre Boots, and Harpy Wings. Oh, there's one. And he did. Yep, way easier to kill now. <laughs> oh yeah, and then I can also, if I want to, go get the Piranha Gun. I don't know how useful the Piranha Gun's gonna be, but I got the Jungle Key. I may as well go pick it up at some point. And then you can also get some other, like, guns and such in the, uh, in the dungeon. Like the Tactical Shotgun in the, um, and the Sniper Rifle. Which are definitely both better than the Uzi. <laughs> I do like that the Uzi is automatic, though. Uh, that is a nice thing about it. And I actually think that might be the reason why it doesn't increment nausea. Uh, is not specifically that it's guns, but more that it's specifically ones that are traditionally automatic weapons. And by traditionally automatic, I mean, obviously now Terraria has the auto fire setting. I don't know that weapons that could not auto fire before that will not affect exhaustion or uh, sorry, nausea. Let's make the hoverboard. So now I can do horizontal movement. Woo. So I'm wondering then if like, if I can't get the better boots, would it make sense to replace it with a different accessory in that case? Cause like maybe the obsidian shield would make more sense. I mean, at this point the obsidian shield would almost certainly make more sense than the frog webbing. I'm trying to think what other, I mean, I could try and get the sniper scope. Uh, I don't, I, I again, don't really have like a way to fast travel to the dungeon. So I've got the hoverboard now. I can go very fast horizontally. Do I even need the quick boots in all honesty here? Because like the hoverboard's ability to give me horizontal movement is just like, really really helpful i'm trying to think if i want to i, I might want to go back and do fish run again before i go to tackle golem because i just think that having fish runs gear uh notably the ones that i'm missing the fish run wings and the um and the tsunami but having those so that i can uh be able to just trivialize fighting golem i think would be really good i also don't actually know where in the dungeon the jungle the jungle key is okay the ice chest is right here hallowed chest is there desert chest is there oh is that bonely oh he dropped the black belt immediately nice that is actually really good oh jungle chest is right here <laughs> get the piranha gun wait so how many pieces of the master ninja gear am i missing okay i'm missing the climbing claws and i'm missing the uh what's the other thing uh the tabby climbing claws are gonna be in like wood chests i cannot believe i have not found climbing claws yet <laughs> it also might be worth my while to fight wall of flesh again because there's um i can get another emblem and then i could combine that with some of the mech souls to get the uh avenger emblem oh there's actually a wood chest right here hold on uh wanda sparking nope oh here's one aglet still no luck uh oh here's another one. Oh, another two even blowpipe nope and what about this one? Oh, there's a third one up there wanda sparking okay nope wooden boomerang that was five wood chests i just checked and none of them had none of them had climbing claws there's another wood chest though blowpipe i hate this video game oh yep there's one guide to plant fiber cordage trash game oh wait there's another one Climbing claws! Oh my god, there actually is a pair. I can finally make the tiger climbing gear. This is incredible. This is the best game ever. <laughs> so now I'm gonna need to go back to the underground, uh, I keep saying underground, the entire dungeon is underground, except for the part that's above ground. Necromancer, yeah. Oh, I got the Shadow Beam stuff. And it's mythical? <laughs> Shame I'm not playing mage. I think, personally, having a better set of um, accessories for fighting Fish Run again, or, you know, literally any other hard mode boss, is probably going to be helpful. I'm almost wondering if, like, the Piranha Gun would be a good uh, weapon for Fish Run, because I, I don't know how the Piranha Gun works with, like, exhaustion, for example. If I remember correctly, with Piranha Gun, you shoot out, like, you, like, shoot out the piranhas, like, once, and then they'll, like, latch on for a little while, and then occasionally you need to add them back again. I guess it'd be worth testing. The whole thing with Fish Run is that he moves around a lot, which is why I opted to use Chlorophyte Bullets for the winning attempt against him. I mean, I don't know. I guess I could test it on, like, Bonely here. Oh, yeah, it does work like that. Hold on a sec. It only increments exhaustion when I launch him for the first time. This thing's a major boon, then. Oh, my gosh. Ah. No, why would you do this? Why? Go away, Ragged Caster. There's two of them. Why is there two? Why would there be two? And I think, like, Piranha Gun has actually been buffed since, like, it was first... Because, like, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it used to shoot just one Piranha, and now it shoots two. 
Oh wait, no, that's three piranhas. It's even better than I than I thought it was because I wasn't paying attention when I used it before. Rusty armor bones, man. Get out of here, boys. Oh gosh, bone coming in. Wow, he does damage. Okay, I got the tabby. Sick. All right, that is good because it is like about time for me to leave. <laughs> We're gonna make the master ninja gear. Oh yeah, now that is some mobility right there. Yeah, I think Wall of Flesh is going to be uh, quite a bit easier the t this time around. Oh yeah, you go, Piranhas. Yeah, look, they just stay out there doing damage. Yeah, if I get those a damage reforge, that'll be good. Ooh, Cowboy Jacket. Oh man, I might switch my outfit here. Hold on. All right, we Cowboy now. I'm retiring the clown stuff. I am no longer a clown. Nah, I'm just kidding, that's a joke. Avenger emblem. 12% increased damage. So let's go ahead and replace the shark tooth necklace with that. How much does it actually cost to reforge the piranha again? Ooh, you know what? I'll stick with murderous. I think that sounds pretty good. Oh yeah, and I guess I can see if there's any like more life fruit that generated. I need three more to max out. So uh, it doesn't sound like the most kind of egregious thing, but I also still don't actually know where the temple is. I don't know. It's, it's probably, it's somewhere around here. <laughs> I'm sure there is a temple somewhere. All right. So now I have a Splunker potion. So I'm going to see if I can get the last little bit of life fruit that I need from this one Splunker potion. And then, yeah, I guess we can try fighting um, fish on again. Yep. So that's going to bring me up to 495, which means I just need one more now. So over here somewhere. There it is. I see it. And with that, we are maxed out on life. Menacing. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'll take menacing on it. Just because I am like running out of money. Um, But it might be worth my while to go fight Brain of Cthulhu a few times. I think Brain of Cthulhu is probably going to be the most lucrative for money and also like easy to kill. And it's dead. Yeah, that's pretty easy. And pretty good way to farm money. All right, just going to do this for a bit. I need finances for reforging. Let's go with my ranger emblem again, because I want to try and get warding on it, which I did already have and accidentally re-rolled over. Okay, there we go. Got warding. Let's try it with the Avenger emblem too. Warding, good. Uh, my shield. Warding, there it is. Honestly, these are the most expensive ones to reforge. Armored on both of those seems fine. So now I'm up to a cool 78 defense. Well, I kind of know the way around the fight now, and I've got better stuff, so let's do it again. All right, yeah, look at that damage. And I'm able to deal consistent damage, and it does not increment exhaustion or nausea at all oh my gosh wow he still does a lot of damage bam got him i got another tempest staff dang but yeah i mean that was a that was significantly easier than the, <laughs> than any of the other times i fought him we'll just keep fighting him until i get the stuff that i want <laughs> uh what i was fighting him before but like you know he's also a lot more manageable now all right what i get it looked like i might have gotten the trophy i wasn't really sure uh yeah trophy and another tempest staff. good <laughs> Really glad I keep getting the Tempest Staff. <laughs> he actually stayed still for a sec, so I was able to easily get my promise. Flare on. Man. Ah. There he goes. Tempest Staff and the trophy again. Really loving all this sick fish run loot I'm getting. Oh my gosh. Red in the needle there. Oh, I got the wings! I got the wings before the um, tsunami. <laughs> like what? Alright, tsunami, come on. Razor Blade again. Oh man. Woo! Razor blade again? <laughs> How many times have I beaten him now? <laughs> eight. I mean him eight times. Got him. Razor blade again. Oh my god. I like the razor blade typhoon. I don't need this many, and also I'm not playing mage. <laughs> okay. I saw it. I saw it drop flare on. <laughs> How many times am I gonna have to fight this guy just to get the weapon I'm looking for? The reason that I like the fish on wings is because you can get them before the very the very end game. Oh, that was my new personal best for the fish one. And I got the. Razor Blade Typhoon again. <laughs> Almost there. And there he goes. Tsunami! Finally! <laughs> Let's go. And it only took killing him 12 times. <laughs> what can I get on my Tsunami? Unreal. Perfect. <laughs> now I have a uh, Tsunami with the best possible reforge. Alright, I'm going to retire the Uzi. It has been serving me very, very well, but I'm going to retire it now. Goodbye, Uzi. Thank you for your service. That's a pretty good set of accessories now. Definitely better than what I left off last episode with. <laughs> so let's get the Shroomite headgear. That way now I have the increased bow damage. Do I need to fight Plantera again for anything? With having Tsunami, probably not. I think the main thing now is I just need to find the temple, which, oh lord, I have no idea where it is. Uh, so is there an infinite summon for Golem? I'm actually not sure. Oh, remote altar controller. 
Oh, and you just need a lizard power cell to make that. Okay. Here, let me make some more chlorophyte bullets, because I don't really have that many. So, okay, so now I have 2,500. So that'll pair well with Vortex Beater once I get it. Vortex Beater will probably be my workhorse for the um for the lunar events. So when I get to the lunar events, I'm going to fight Vortex first to get the Vortex Beater, and then I'm going to fight Stardust to get the Stardust Dragon Staff, since I've been using mostly a mixed range and summoner build this whole time. Getting those first and then taking out uh, Solar and Nebula, I think, would be uh the right way to do it so we're gonna do that but obviously before i get to any of that <laughs> gonna need to fight golem which means finding the finding the dungeon there's not enough villagers near that really what do you mean there's not enough there's three is it because the crimson is are, are you sure it's that there's not enough villagers well that sucks now i'm not sure how the temple works with the jungle bar i imagine it's still counted as jungle so I'm trying to think here where would the temple even be i guess it would probably be good to use like a spelunker potion here because using spelunker oh never mind <laughs> i uh i think i found it <laughs> okay yeah my jungle bar is definitely still going down while i'm in the temple so okay and then i think what i should maybe do is i should maybe set up a teleporter system i mean okay so how absurd would that really be i mean how long would it really take actually no i probably only need the one switch i just need to be able to teleport like into the temple so i'm gonna set this up at the ocean all right so I think I can actually just bring this as far as I need to. So I'm going to I'm going to have it go to where I start going underground here. Oh wait, oh I can't go that far. Oh, no no no, I ran out of wire. That's what it was. <laughs> Empty my bank account into wiring. So how far did it actually go then? Where where is it? Where's it going? Uh, oh wait, oh, okay, okay, I can still see it. Okay, it went to there then, okay. So now let's bring it down into the jungle here. I really should have put down some torches over here before I did this. Put down the other teleporter right here and then we will connect it. Okay, and then that should work. I have not used teleporters in quite a while, so. And click, click. Why is this not working? Uh, is there a spot where I missed the connection? Is it like because it goes through some of the temple blocks? Is that the problem? So maybe I need to go ahead and cut all the way over to here and instead make it go over it. That's the only issue I can think because it looks like it's fully connected everywhere else. Does it work now? Okay, how the heck do teleporters work? Is it because the teleporter is behind temple blocks? Or like behind temple walls? Do I need to move the teleporter on top of the temple? Maybe that's it. So that would basically mean that I need to set up the teleporter on top of the temple, like right by the entrance, and then speed run through the temple and kill Golem in one go. Oh wait, oh that's why, it's not even connected to the- Oh wait, I literally can't place the- Okay, yeah, I literally cannot place the wiring there, okay. And click. All right. Yep, and we're right in here. Oh wait, can I not see the wiring? All right, I guess they thought of that. So that means I'm gonna have to manually disarm each trap here. Pirates, really? Okay, love that that's a thing that's happening. I didn't really want to have to fight the pirates, but I guess we're doing that now. Once again, I need to let- Exhaustion refill. Like I've said before, it's the forever problem. How does the parrot do more damage than the Dutchman's cannons? 99%? Alright, there we go. And golem should be relatively easy. I mean, golem's never been a difficult boss. How many unicorns are- oh, eh. Okay, I've gotten three. I also can't talk. I don't think I'm gonna need more than the 1300 I have there to be able to defeat Golem, honestly. Gosh, some of these spike placements are like just outright mean. Okay, there's the there's the temple room or the uh, altar room. So this time through, I might actually just go ahead and just rush through and fight Golem when I get to the, the middle there. All right, all the traps are gone. Let me go ahead and place down a little dirt platform here. Don't mind the specifics, it's fine. There we go. Okay, now I'm close enough. All right, get him. Get him before thirst in the jungle right now. And or. It doesn't matter which one runs out. Okay, he's nearly dead now. And down he goes. And suddenly all the wiring just appears. That does mean that now the um, cultist can spawn. But I do kind of want to get the um, Eye of the Golem, if I can. And then Pixaw as well. Use the tsunami. Got him. Staff of Earth. Not quite what I was thinking. Got him. Oh, I got the Pixaw. Yes. I'm grabbing the altar. So now I can fight golem not in the temple uh yeah this is definitely a lot easier with all this space to move around here now i can definitely get the eye of the golem cool finally <laughs> and i only had to kill him 17 times and we're gonna get 
the destroyer emblem so yeah i guess now it's a matter of going over to the dungeon and fighting the lunatic cultist which i should be able to beat him relatively simply it's that time we're gonna start the lunar events so yeah we're gonna fight lunatic cultist now let's do this all right get him out of here all right all right, here goes nothing. All right, uh, given how much damage he's already taken, I don't think this is gonna be that difficult. I mean, I already kind of figured it wasn't gonna be that hard, but like, this is ridiculously easy. And he's dead. Just that easy. So like I said, we're gonna go for Vortex first. But I'm gonna have to get past the Stardust pillar first. Honestly, it might actually be worth my while to go fight Stardust and then just do that first since it's already kind of on the way. And I can just use Tsunami for that. We'll fight the Stardust enemies. Why do I already have so much gel on me? Oh my gosh. Jeez, the damage. God, I hate flow invaders. Ah. Uh, oh, temperature. Rip. <laughs> I forgot I was in a desert. <laughs> I figure I'm probably gonna die a few times on the uh, Celestial, on the on the Lunar events because, uh, yeah, the Lunar events are tough. Oh my gosh, the amount of star cells that are spawning. Okay, the pillar is vulnerable. Got it. Yes. Give me the fragments and get me out of here. Ah, Stardust Dragon. Yeah, I'm picking Stardust Dragon over Stardust Cell. I think Stardust Dragon is probably going to be overall better. The Tempests are going. In comes the Stardust Dragon. There he is. So that means next up on the docket is going to be the Vortex Pillar all the way over on the right. And then honestly, depending on how the first Moon Lord fight goes, whether I win or not, um, I might have to do the Lunar Events again to be able to get enough fragments for a Celestial Sigil. I'm a bit worried about the, um, the Solar Pillar because, well, I'm always worried about the solar pillar because it's my least favorite one. Please tell me the vortex pillar is not in the snow. Because if it's in the snow, then I'm going to have the issue of, the, the other issue of the temperature bar. Oh, no, it is. Oh, wait, no, it's not. No, it's like, it is it is outside of it. Okay, never mind. 110 damage? What the hell? Too tired. Goodness me. Okay, I did not realize those uh, storm divers did so much damage. I mean, how many of the vortex enemies are like easy to um, to hit with tsunami? Because I know for a fact the storm divers aren't. <laughs> Oh gosh, no, not this. I hate this debuff so much. I've almost defeated the Vortex Pillar. I need to kill two more enemies. Tall order. Okay, 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 okay. Pillar is open. Ah, god dang it. So I can get the fragments and then I can get the Vortex Beater. So that's two pillars down. I think I'm gonna go for uh, solar next, and then we're gonna break out the chlorophyte bullets with the vortex beater, and it's gonna be fantastic. There we go. Yeah, this is the one. So now I definitely, definitely want to get vortex beater to unreal, like... That is a, a necessity. No, I got godly, though. I might fight, um, Brain of Cthulhu a few more times to get more money. <laughs> Hold on. It's like, look at this. Wait, I'm sorry. What? Vortex Beater does not even increment exhaustion? Excuse me? Wait, why doesn't it increment exhaustion? You know, I don't know, but I am certainly not complaining about that. Oh man, this might be more doable than I thought. <laughs> All right, there they go. And there you go. <laughs> Defeated. <laughs> and I think I have a pretty high chance to not consume ammo. I mean, this gives a 20% chance to save. This gives a 66% chance to save ammo. I don't know if this... Oh, 20% chance to save ammo. Now, I believe that is multiplicative, not additive, meaning I can still use ammo. Yep. If it was additive, then I would have a 106% uh, chance to not use <laughs> to not use ammo. So that's not how that works. Why is it slime raining again? Oh my god, this is the third time this dumb event has happened. I do not want to deal with the slime rain. I thought I had made that clear. Can I not speed up time because of the lunar events? Oh my god. So I'll just have to wait longer then. Finally. Good lord, that took so long. Never gonna get Unreal on this thing. Unreal is its best reforge, right? Yes. Okay, it does tell me that, the wiki does tell me that Godly and Demonic do give the same DPS though, so. Godly. Okay, we'll take Godly. Godly's alright. So now I guess let's go take out the other two pillars. Like I said, I want to do uh, Solar first, because I think it's the hardest one. I'm starting to think that solar might actually be easier than nebula or, or uh, sorry, not nebula, um, vortex or stardust. And I was completely wrong about this being the hardest one. All right, pillar's vulnerable now. There we go. Uh, that means there's just one pillar left. So that just leaves nebula. And then I got to attempt moon lord. <laughs> Do I want to take life force? I might take life force. We're going all in for this first attempt here. Because maybe I can first try moon lord. We'll see. Let's go fight nebula. I will say the vortex beater is very loud though. Oh yes, stone. I haven't had an issue with the stone bar in a long time. But there is stone right underneath the, uh, the nebula pillar here. Alright, nebula pillar is vulnerable. 
Okay, got it. Oh no, don't quick stack those. No, I need those. Okay. <sighs> alright, alright. Here goes nothing. That's it, baby! Woo! Let's go! And I got the SDMG! <laughs> that went extremely well. <laughs> Man, the Vortex Beater is just a destroyer of everything. Well, in that case then, that's the run, baby. <laughs> I suppose I'll do this now, since credits are rolling. The final death total is... 87. So if I'm not mistaken, I was at 83 at the end of um, episode 4, which was at 4 deaths total today, and 87 total for the challenge, which honestly, I'm surprised I was able to keep it under 100. <laughs> I thought that my deaths would be for sure over 100, honestly, by mid hard mode. Hey, just want to pop in here and post to do more of a proper outro. I tried doing one in the moment, but frankly, it wasn't very eloquent, so I'm going to give it another shot here. Honestly, this challenge has been really really fun for me to just put together. It's really given me a chance to kind of figure out my editing and video style and all that. The titular mod of the series made for a really fun but simple challenge to add on to Terraria. And speaking of the titular mod, I want to give a massive thank you, of course, to Vervain, the creator of the Verve Stupid Bars mod. Um, they're also just a pretty adept mod developer as is so they've got a bunch of other cool stuff that they've made and so if you want to check any of that out uh, i'll leave a link to both verve's youtube channel and steam so that way you can see some more of the stuff that they've done they've done a couple weapon rework mods they've done a cave update mod and they've even made uh, some brand new classes otherwise i think that's probably about it for me but of course there is one more part of my outro that i would be remiss to leave out and luckily i don't think i need eloquence to pull this one off until next time everybody take care of yourselves